The World Health Organization has just declared coronavirus a global health emergency. History has shown that the best buying opportunity for a stock market worried about a global pandemic comes when the World Health Organization declares a global emergency. In other words, the market is already factoring in the risk, and so by the time the official confirmation comes, the best course of action is to buy the dip. Buy the rumor sell the fact is an old trading adage in a similar vein to things like the trend is your friend and don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. Welcome to the Atlantis Report. As concerns about the new coronavirus grow, pharmaceutical companies are rushing to get the fastest spreading vaccine for this disease first. The pharmaceutical companies are rushing to come up with a coronavirus vaccine. Pharmaceutical companies around the world are making great efforts to discover new tests and treatments in response to the new Chinese coronavirus, the infamous 2019 NCOV. For example, one of these companies, the US Code Diagnostics, has completed the first phase of designing a screening test that detects the disease. As soon as the market found out, the company's stocks jumped 138.9%. This episode gives a good idea of what the markets think about the pharmaceutical business of coronavirus. On the other hand, investors have started looking for companies that can find countermeasures for the disease. The short story of a planetary emergency. The first signs of the emergency came at the end of last year. Back then, the World Health Organization WHO, was informed of a series of pneumonia cases with unknown causes in Wuhan, the capital of Hubei, China. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause anything from the common cold to Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome MERS, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome SARS. As the WHO indicates, symptoms include fever, cough and breathing difficulties. As concerns about the new coronavirus have grown, pharmaceutical companies have increased efforts to try to keep up with the rapidly spreading disease. Wall Street saw the stocks of some pharmaceutical companies booming. For example, this pharmaceutical company, Veer Biotechnology United States, grew by 43.5% in just two days. It happened as soon as the company communicated to investors that it was determining whether its previously identified anti-coronavirus antibodies were an effective measure against the disease. Moderna Inc., another American biotechnology company, in collaboration with the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations Association from Norway, plans to develop a vaccine against the disease. In just one day, the company's stock prices rose by 3.5%. Works for the coronavirus vaccine has already started worldwide. And in the age of genetic maps and the internet, this effort is possible even without the virus having to leave China. It was from here that the first announcement came, followed by that of the United States, and at least five companies in the Western world are working in this direction. Shanghai East Hospital of Tongji University said it was ready to develop a vaccine in collaboration with the Sturmerna Therapeutics Company. Then it was the turn of one of the major international authorities in the field of vaccines, Anthony Fossey, director of the American Institute for Infectious Diseases NIAID, of the National Institutes for Health NIH. We have already started, together with several of our collaborators, he announced. It is a long and uncertain process, added Fossey, but we are proceeding as if we were going to produce a vaccine. In other words, we are considering the worst-case scenario, that is, that further spread occurs. In any case, it will be a computer-made vaccine based on genetic information. The vaccine cannot be the classic one based on the inactivated virus, it must be a genetic-type vaccine, based on the information contained in the genetic material of the virus. The CEO of the biotechnology company Takis, who is working on the vaccine against the new coronavirus, told journalists. In fact, it is no longer necessary, as in the past, to have the virus physically available, it is enough to know its genetic material. The latter is freely accessible online and to all researchers in the world. Because it has been deposited in the gene bank and GISED databases. The technology developed by the Italian company consists of taking a fragment of the virus genome and cloning it in the circular DNA strands present in the bacteria. The packet thus obtained is injected into the muscle and then a short electric shock enters the vaccine inside the cell, in the area other than the nucleus called the cytoplasm. The cells thus produce a substance that can be recognized by the immune system called an antigen and carry it to their surface. The administration technique, called electroporation, is currently used for some forms of chemotherapy and in the past, it was also foreseen for the vaccine against another coronavirus. 
the one responsible for MERS Middle East Respiratory Syndrome in 2015. Meanwhile, China has announced that it plans to use lopinavir and ritonavir from the American pharmaceutical company ABVI. These are drugs whose combined use has been used to treat and prevent HIV and AIDS. In the case of the new coronavirus, it is an intermediate treatment waiting for researchers to discover an effective drug. Again, when the market learned about Chinese intentions, ABV's shares grew 1.8%. There are those who say that to know where the spread of the new coronavirus is, as well as the discovery of a vaccine. It is better to look at Wall Street rather than the Chinese news. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.